Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Brian Francis. I'm Sherry and Rowena. And we are Rowena Francis. Rowena Francis. It's been a hot minute since we've been in here. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think it's, I think it's been a while since we've done a video. We should have calculated exactly how many days it was. You're like, it's been... 198 <laughs> days and 12 Wait, minutes and 15 seconds. What was the seconds? last video that we did? I don't know. It's been a long time, though. Here, click here if you want to. Uh, or here. <laughs> I don't know. Wherever. If you want to watch the last video. The last video. Anyways, we've been busy. We've been busy. But today we're going to talk about something new. Something maybe, new? Maybe something new. You know, a few weeks ago we were having a, a conversation uh, sitting around our table um, with some of our pastor friends and we were studying some doctrine and it, theology you know, theology mm -hmm. super super exciting stuff it is exciting actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah especially when i'm sitting around with all these people who just like love studying yeah that's where right. i'm just like all right guys let's move on to the next point <laughs> <laughs> and every point i'm like i really love this because a b c d <laughs> and then one of our friends you know was like oh you know, back in uh, biblical days, yeah. uh, you know, this, 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 and this. And Anyways, just... it makes for some <laughs> very rich conversation, and we definitely leave Wednesday evening feeling completely filled and uh, much more knowledgeable than we were before Wednesday, on Tuesday, per se. <laughs> <laughs> so this day, we were studying the Word of God, and we were just talking about, you know, some of the very basics of... You know that the word of God is the inspired word of God. It's mm -hmm. the infallible word of God. That's right. And uh, you know, in a day and age with all of this crazy stuff, where where we call good evil and evil good and mm -hmm. so forth, it's it's just really basic to really understand uh, some of the principles that God has instructed to us about His word. Yeah. So, in this study topic, do you remember when we were studying this day? We were we were talking a little mm -hmm. bit about this terminology of revelation revelation versus illumination and this it was a really interesting conversation because we were supposed to get through like something like 30 pages of doctrine and this was literally like a three sentence paragraph or something like that mm -hmm. and we just got stuck on it for the entire um, afternoon like a couple hours mm -hmm. anyways so we were just talking about the difference um, between revelation and illumination, which uh, is pretty cool because before that I never really thought much uh, about the difference between revelation and illumination. Mm -hmm. And really all it comes down to is, is that God's word, what he has already given to us, was already revealed. That revelation came with the writing of the Holy Scriptures, mm -hmm. which we knew came through the inspired word of word God. Of That's why we have the Bible. We have the word of God. That was the revelation. Yes. And so now it is this process of illumination that mm -hmm. takes place by the Holy Spirit to reveal, that reveals to us what God revealed. Illuminates uh, to us. He illuminates to us. What God revealed. What God revealed. Yes. Yeah. See that? I can't, I can't even say it properly <laughs> again these days. And so a lot of times even when we're talking about things, you know, amongst each other, it's kind of like, oh, uh, this revelation of something new in God's word. Mm -hmm. and, and, we're, and that's what we were really starting to think about was... Like, was, should we be saying all of this revelation or should we be saying, you know, God illuminated something to me? Or, you know, I mean, you can get stuck on terminology and stuff like that, but it really just sparked something inside of us. And it really made us think about how God illuminates things and it refers back to him being Jehovah Ori, the Lord our lights. Absolutely. Right? Because what does that word Jehovah Ori mean? It's it's talking about light and it comes from that word illumination. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so we really started, you know, realizing, hey, illumination is everywhere in God's word. God is the light. It says he, he when Jesus came here to planet Earth, he said, I am the light of the world. Mm -hmm. And when they use that terminology, I am, it talks about even being the fullness of okay of light he is light itself and so i think this is just an amazing representation of who god is that's right and actually uh light is meant to expose things you know and as jehovah ori he has come and he's exposing the darkness we know that the darkness cannot stand up against the light and uh and i think it's really exciting you know especially in these times that we're living in is that you know we have Jehovah Ori, the Lord our light, who is there to illuminate to us 
what the truth is so that we can go after the truth and then it exposes what whether there's darkness it exposes what is trying to be hidden in the darkness mm -hmm. and he brings it to light i like it how it says in first john um one five to nine it says this is the message we have heard from him and declare to you god is light in him there is no darkness at all if we claim to have fellowship with him and yet we walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Amen. I feel like this sums everything up so well. It does. It really talks about us, that opportunity for us to pursue truth, mm -hmm. to pursue light. It, it talks about how we are actually light, lights ourselves, and we are to be a light to the world. That's right. And uh, I believe this is just something... We're called like, a, a light in the darkness, a city on a hill. A city on a hill, which <laughs> shall not be hidden. That's right. So... That's one thing that's really big and significant about light and illumination. But there's also another thing that I think was really significant about light. And this goes back to, you know, my childhood. Sherry, you know, loved some of my, my childhood song, soundtracks and musicians. And one of my favorite childhood singers was uh, Amy Grant. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can just see it. I, I, I didn't see it on She's camera. She's a good singer. But how, how much of an eye roll did she just do there, you know? I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, I could get into Carmen. You just, no, Carmen, you cannot <laughs> touch that. Carmen is, 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 is. Yes, yeah. You overplayed Immigrant, I think. Not as much as you overplayed Carmen. No, Carmen can't be overplayed. <laughs> Sorry. So Amy Grant had this song, though, that she used to sing, which is just a scripture that was in the Word of God, which is, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And this is so relevant to us, even in this day and age, because we need discernment, mm -hmm. okay, to be able to know where we're going and what we are to do. And it's the word of God. It is, which is the word of God, by the way, is God. And it will illuminate the pathway before us, which is so exciting. We don't have to walk in the darkness. As Jehovah Ori, he leads us. He guides us. And let me just tell you, okay, from when, when I get up in the middle of the night, you know, the other day, the you other do night. That? Yeah, I do do that. Oh, okay. I get up and pray. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I got up the other night, so I go to bed earlier than everybody else in this house, and somebody left a chair right outside my bedroom door. And so, when I got up in the middle of the night, I was trying to slowly walk out, and I was just trying to go from memory from where, like, with my walkway. And I didn't know that the chair was there and I couldn't see it because it was dark and I tripped over it. I banged my toe on it and all of you know what it feels like to stub your toe on a chair in the dark in the middle of the night. So of course she screams at Charles. <laughs> Charles, bat dog! No. <laughs> Why'd you leave the chair out? <laughs> but... Uh, if the light would have been on, I would have been able to see the chair and I would have made, I would have been able to alter my pathway. And that's what the word of God does for us. It helps us to walk in the way that we should go and to be able to see when there are stumbling blocks in our way and to see when the enemy is trying to trip us up and, uh, and it leads us in the right way. Absolutely. So Jehovah worry. The Lord our light. The Lord our light. He's here with us. He's here to lead us. He's here to guide us. Mm -hmm. He is there to expose things mm -hmm. in, in, in the darkness, and, and darkness cannot maintain itself in the light. That's right. And so we're going to pray. Pastor Sherry's going to pray here, and she's just going to show us how we utilize God's name in prayer. That's right. Father, I thank you that you are Jehovah Ori, the Lord our light. Mm -hmm. I thank you that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And this day, Father, in the in the moment that we are living in, in the pathway that we are going, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have equipped us with what we need to be able to walk in the way that we should go, Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are exposing darkness, that you are bringing things to light, and that the darkness cannot stand in the light. 
I thank you, Father, that you are the God of all creation and you, you are the King of all kings. And I thank you that you are showing us this day which way we should go, that you are illuminating things from your word into our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us for again for another video, and we will see you in the next video.